Veterans Day is this Friday and the men and women who served in the military received an early gift to commemorate their service to the country. One thing about uh, this, this hospital is uh, we have uh, the only active duty rehab program uh, that operates in a VA hospital in the country. And I think one of the things that's happened since we've had that is this program has gotten a reputation for being innovative and for being trendsetting. The Charlie Norwood VA Medical Center is home to a new tennis court for veterans in rehabilitation to stay mentally and physically active. Freedom Alliance uh, said, well, you know, there's a VA hospital in Augusta that had some relationships with, made some phone calls, and a year and a half later, you know, here we are standing on some wonderful brand new courts. Well, Freedom uh, Alliance is an organization that supports our troops and, our, and their families, and we heard about the uh, need for uh, the tennis courts here at uh, Charlie Norwood uh, facility, and we were eager to step up and help out because uh, the folks who are re rehabilitating here at Charlie Norwood really need uh, multiple activities. However, this is no ordinary tennis court. Well, these courts were actually used on the South Lawn in the White House for uh, the Michelle Obama uh, Let's Move uh, program. And we were looking for a home, and Charlie Nor Norwood in Augusta was, was the home for these courts. This court is what we call the safest court in the world. It's engineered uh, to absorb shock and stress on the body. The two sport court brand tennis surfaces came from the White House as part of First Lady Michelle Obama's Let's Move events. This prompted much excitement from medical personnel and veterans. Uh, this court is going to be something special just by the nature of the people it's helping. Uh, the, the folks you see out here on the court are people who have, uh, who have served our country, who have been wounded serving our country. Since physical activity is important during the process of rehabilitation, tennis was seen as the best activity to engage in to exercise the mind, body, but most importantly, let our veterans enjoy themselves. We're trying to get people after they've had devastating injuries like amputations, spinal cord injuries, traumatic brain injuries. Uh, we're trying to get them to not only uh, survive the, the uh, incident, but, but to thrive. We think tennis is a great thing, not only physically, but mentally. You know, it gets you thinking, gets you moving. But we want it to be an opportunity for our veterans here in the Augusta area, you know, to have the opportunity to say, you know what, maybe tennis will work for me. Veterans Day is just around the corner, and this is a dedication that will keep on giving to our men and women who sacrifice their services for America. It's extraordinarily important to give back to those who fight for our country, who serve our country, not only during Veterans Day and Veterans Week, uh, but throughout the year. It's time for people in the United States to sacrifice uh, for our wounded warriors, just as they're sacrificing for the country. This is good for the country. This is good for Charlie Nor Norwood and our, and our veterans and our wounded servicemen here. I'm Israel Butler, Voices and Vibes, WRDW News 12.